South Korea's deadliest fire in almost a decade followed one last month that killed 29 people, reviving concern over safety standards, as the hospital director said current law did not require the building to have a sprinkler system. Those on upper floors used ladders and plastic escape slides to flee, while firefighters carried some who could not walk. I saw the elderly patients scrambling out through the windows and had to help, said Wu Young Min, 25, as he stood in his pajamas outside the hospital. Fire officials posted a list of at least 26 victims outside the hospital, their ages ranging from 34 to 96 years, with at least a score over 70. Families crowded round the handwritten list of names and hospital rooms that officials had scrawled on a wall at a nearby funeral home. The street outside the hospital featured in the 2007 South Korean drama Miryan, or Secret Sunshine, which garnered awards at Cannes and other film festivals. But on Friday, witnesses described scenes of chaos in the sub-freezing temperatures as nearby residents rushed to take portable hot packs to shivering victims. Wu said he was walking home after working a graveyard shift when he saw the fire and patients trying to escape the blaze. The firefighters were shouting at us not to go inside the building, so I stayed and helped others bring the patients down the slides. At least 177 patients most of them elderly were at the hospital in an adjacent nursing home when the fire broke out, hospital director Son Byung Chiel told reporters. Song said three of the nine hospital staff on duty at the time died, including at least one doctor, a nurse, and a nurse's aide, all killed on the second floor. Smoke rises from a burning hospital in Miryang, South Korea. January 26, 2018. Kim Dong Min Yonhap via Reuters Most of those who died were on the first and second floors, said Choi, but added that there were no deaths from burns. Seven people were critically injured, while 126 had less serious wounds, officials told a Friday evening briefing. Charred debris and shattered glass littered the ground outside Dotano Sprinkler System Asia's fourth-largest economy, with one of the world's fastest aging populations, South Korea has faced criticism in recent years over inadequate safety standards. Slideshow, three images, Song said the six-story hospital did not have a sprinkler system and was not large enough to require one under the law. The nursing home annex, where no patients died, is covered by a new law, however, and Song said the hospital had planned to begin installing a sprinkler system there next week. Health Minister Park Noon who said the government would consider changing the law. Interior Ministry guidelines published in December 2016 suggest sprinklers for all buildings of six or more stories. According to an initial eyewitness, fire broke out where there are two air conditioning and heating devices in the emergency room, Song said. 
Others said an electric spark occurred on the ceiling of the emergency room and then fire spread quickly. The hospital had regular safety inspections and was built to government standards with fire exits and extinguishers, many of which were used during the fire, he added. Interior Minister Kim Bukayan, who visited Miryang to apologize for the fire, promised government help for victims, Yonhap News Agency said. In December, 29 people were killed in a blaze at an eight-story fitness center in Jiaqian City, most of them women trapped in a sauna by toxic fumes. The event fed anger over reports of shoddy construction, among other shortcomings. In 2014, a fire at a rural hospital killed 21 people, while a 2008 warehouse fire outside Seoul killed 40. Reporting by Christine Kim. Additional reporting Yuna Park, Guy Kim and Hyanee Shin. Writing by Josh Smith. Editing by Simon Cameron Moore and Clarence Fernandez.